So it's currently uh, just before three in the morning. Pitch black out. Um, we got about 1,500 kilometers to drive today. 1,500 kilometers. I'm not sure what that equates to in um, in American terms. <laughs> but I'll just show you the setup we have at the moment. Um, got a little radio here to talk to Ellie. She's got one as well. I'll show you how that works in a minute. At the moment, I just got all my computers in the back, my monitors. This is pretty important, so it's going to sit here. The dog leads in case you have to take them anywhere. This is just um, random like dog food and stuff, and it's just where all my rubbish is going to go. So yeah, not much room in here for me. Um, shit, I'm getting a text from Ellie. I forgot to um, I forgot to give her my order. One second. One... Hopefully, she gets it. She's she's going to Macca's because I got the big trailer on the back. I can't um, I can't go and get macas for myself but let's have a look hopefully this looks all right on the camera um yeah it does so here's the rig obviously it's a little sadie baby hey sadie baby rusty boy at the back there hey they got little mattresses down for them um the push bikes i'm a little bit worried here with the tires next to the uh next to the trailer hitch but it looks like it should be all right Hopefully. Big trailer on the back. Should be good. Gonna be good. Yeah. It's um, not much room for error. Not much room for anything. True starting point, my location. So. What the heck? It reckons it's only 13 hours and 55 minutes Which uh, that's crazy. I thought it was gonna be 15 hours, but anyway um, So distance is 1330 kilometers, so not quite as long as I thought so we should be able to do this easy this first half All right, I can see some head headlights approaching Ellie and I were on a uh, channel 69 on the UHF Surely this is her, surely. Here, let's find out. Hello, baby. <laughs> bit crackly, she's a bit far away. I knew this was you. Just pull up next to me, babe. I'll grab my, my feed, give you a kiss, and we'll hit the road. Wow, rude. <laughs> All right, it's official. I'm officially moving out of my hometown where I've grown up my whole life. This is it. Making a move. Beep, beep. Give a little beep. Say goodbye. Oh, I'm actually very sad. I'm leaving it in my dust. Goodbye, Mount Aza. Goodbye, my hometown. Can I get out of my That's okay. You'll catch up to me. Ellie has a bunch of bugs in her car from when I grabbed my food out of her car. Um, she had a little light on inside, her interior light. So, um, yeah, she got filled with bugs, unfortunately. Alright, well, no more camera. Um, I gotta pay attention to the road. So I'm just gonna get to the 80k an hour here and set the cruise control. Beep, that'll do. And that's me, boys. Cruise is controlled. Okay, so one of the poor doggies had pooed everywhere, so we had to ditch their um, ditch their little mattresses. So the poor dog's gonna have a bit of a rough ride. Um, I unhitched the trailer and look how many flies, man! I'm so sorry, dogs. We'll get on the highway in a sec, and hopefully you'll be all right. Um, 
Yeah, so the, the nice guy at the Kainuna Roadhouse um, gave us a hose to use and that cleaned all the poo up with. Oh, there's a bit there. Awkward. I left a bit behind, boys. But yeah, that's a quick little update. Um, I gotta get out of this flyer, so yeah. Okay, well, um, I stink. Absolutely stink of dog shit. Um, I've got baby wipes in here. I'm gonna try and wipe my hands and all that. I don't think, I can't see anything on me, but that's all I can smell. Um, the dogs were absolutely covered in flies, so I had to stop that little bit of a vlog. I felt too bad for them, but we're on the highway now. Hopefully all the wind is keeping the uh, flies off them. The poor dogs are so sad. Um, I don't know what they've eaten. They, they don't normally have the runs like that, and um, they don't get motion sick. Like, we take them out all the time. They've never, never peed or pooed in the back of the car before. In the car, nothing. Like, they've never, never, not even a little pee. Not that you want to see my dogs pooing, but um, there's been a little more, yeah, that's right, cover it up, Sadie. Been a little more poo in the car. Um, I'm just gonna try clean it up with these wipes. It's, uh, no, it's a bit, I feel really bad. I don't mind the poo in the car. Um, the, the biggest thing that's upsetting me is I have to let the dogs jump out from the side. And I don't know if the camera can see it, but they're scratching the shit out of my car. Normally, it's all out of the back, but um, I'm not unpacking everything for a few little scratches. So I'm just letting them pee and poo. They've, they've peed like 14 times. They've pooed again. Just gotta, I don't know, let them do their thing. They're not well, they're sick for the poor things. I don't know what they've eaten, but we haven't changed their diet or anything, but... Yeah, it's ch chilling, doing their own thing for now. But yeah, I'm gonna try and clean this poo up. Wish me luck. <laughs> Gotta stop at Park Holden, I think. Let's try and let the dogs have a run around of shit and a feed, and then try and keep punching to Rocky. Um, Park Holden is very much the halfway point, and it's only two hours away, giving us, um, well, what would it be, about 700 kilometers, I guess, from Park Holden, which should be seven hours. So seven o'clock at night, if we're on schedule, we should make it to Rocky. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. These thirsty doggies. Oh, there's nothing in it. <laughs> Chill out. They're very thirsty. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna fight over this, but he's licking it before it's even getting out. Teddy, you want some water? Want some water? <laughs> yes, Eddie, you can have your own water. Want your own water? Rusty's like, I want some of this water. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll leave it there and then we can come back. We'll take him for a little walk. Yeah. Right, Rusty or Sadie? Rusty. Okay, let's go. Do you want to run as well, Sadie? Okay, let's go. Ellie made me these nice little sandwiches. I'm on my second one, that means there's none left. As you can see, she puts a little love heart, little D in a love heart, because I'm Daniel and she loves me. This is the sandwich, it's got ham and avocado and tomato and salt and pepper, I'm not sure what else, mayonnaise, it's fucking mm, delicious. Thanks babe, thanks for the sangha. It's uh, 20 past six, we've been on the road for 15 hours now. Uh, we should be in Rockhampton right now. If I didn't have a giant trailer and two dogs, we would have been able to do. <coughs> we would have been able to do the speed limit, and um, yeah, we would have been able to be at our destination by now. But you know that just doesn't work. Yeah. We kind of knew it wouldn't either. I, I kind of added a few hours on top and said, you know, we wouldn't be there till eight. So we're two hours, two and a half hours maybe out of uh, Rocky, which is where we have accommodation. The sun's setting there in the, in the mirror, you can possibly see it. And uh, yeah, we've got two and a half hours roughly to go, 230 kilometers. And, uh, yeah, we'll be able to call it a day. And just a small six hour drive tomorrow, that'll be easy. We'll knock that out, no worries. All right, day number two. Um, just hit the road, it's 6.30 now. We've just had a uh, had a feed for, of Hungry Jacks. We've fueled the car up. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to uh, Brisbane. It's only a six hour drive, but it take us, you know, about eight hours with the dogs and fueling up and like only doing 100K an hour because of the big trailer on the back. But yesterday we got in the car at three and um, we pulled 
up at uh, yeah at a hotel around nine, so I think that's 18 hours. Question mark. But yeah, anyway, it's 18 hours. So I didn't record the hotel. I didn't record Notre Dame. Nothing like. I was super impressed at Ellie's efforts. Like for her to do that that long of a drive in one stint is super impressive. Um, we did pull up once and she had a little nap, like five, ten minute nap, and then she had a feed and then she was like good to go. Um, but yeah, I was, I was super impressed with her efforts. I've, I've done long, long distance driving, like a lot. Uh, my dad's a truck driver, so I, um, I don't know, I'm just kind of used to big drives because I've always done big drives with him, so not saying that, oh, I'm fucking deadly, I can drive long times, I'm just saying that I'm more accustomed to it than her and for her to do it just sit there and do it yesterday just yeah she killed it um but yeah other than that we've got roughly eight hours on the road today and then we'll be arriving to our new house the hotel we stayed in last night although like ellie and i have both said that the, the the place grossed us out like we felt a little bit dirty in the in the accommodation but it's not that the place looked dirty or or stank or anything. Um, I'm not sure. We just got this vibe. Um, everything was freshly painted. Everything was like looked clean. It all looked like it had just been under new like management or something and had a nice big renovation. But I think it's because it was like a pet friendly motel. Like you allowed your pets in there to sleep. I think we just there was just like an aura or so about the place where we're just like, man, this place is dirty. Like I don't know. It, Nothing was physically dirty, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah, we had a really nice sleep. Uh, it was really good to just be able to sit the dogs inside with us, not have to worry about them, um, like, you know, being left on the ute or anything while we slept, so yeah. So we learnt today that maybe after an hour, because they pooed all through the tray yesterday, we're like, oh, we'll, we'll let them off in an hour's time and see if they're ready for the bathroom then and <laughs> perfectly timed to say say he just started going as i'm explaining but they've they've both peed and pooed multiple times now just after the hour so i know you guys that are planning to do road trips with your dogs maybe yeah after an hour pull up and just let them have a run around get all the pee and poo out of their system because they they realize hey we're not going to be able to do this let's get it out of us Ellie's having a little nap. She's very tired. I'm pushing her pretty hard. Um, I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be pushing her so hard. But um, I'm just. I'm keen. I'm keen to get to our new house. I'm keen to just get this drive over and done with. Uh, yeah. So I'm not telling her that's it. You have to go. Like we. We're both agreeing. We're like, all right. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do that. Oh, the poor doggies. That's fancy. TV. Just uh, having a little rest stop next to the highway for the doggies, drinking. I just decided to start recording in case Ellie or I fall over. <laughs> Did you almost fall as I said that? Look at Rusty come to help you. Oh, parkour! <laughs> So we're only 200 kilometers away from home, our new home. So we're keen, we're, we haven't stopped for a while. We've got fuel in the tank. We're like, yep, let's get there, let's do this. And we're at a standstill. We are at a complete standstill. We're at, oh, let's see, let's see, let's open this. Hello. Hello, Rusty. Hello, Sadie. Hi. This is us on the right. Bing, bing. Alright Rusty, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, Okay, Sadie, I'm coming. We've got to bring oh, it so it's very thirsty. Can you hold a uh, bottle please? Bottles? Sure. Sadie, come on. This way she got to go. <laughs> okay. Oh. Alright, so the dogs are about to get there, see the yard for the first time. Sadie, here. Oh, he knows. Sadie, come on. Oh, no, he Sadie, doesn't know. Yeah. Rusty. Rusty. Rusty, yeah. Oh. oh, my come God. On. Come on. Come on. <laughs> She's like going through the bush. Can you see the new yard? Really? Ready? 
This way. Shit all over her face. Oh no. Hey? Oh, there's our dog bed. What I'm saying. Building that doggy bed. <laughs> so they have somewhere to lay, even though she's just laying on the grass. You like it in your house? I got a doggy friend through the fence. Oh, he wants to play. All right, this is the new house. I'm a little bit disappointed at how overgrown everything is already. Like it was straight away, have to have a garden there. Just, you know, just scissors, like the cuts that I have. Just cut it down, but. Alright, so garage, we don't have power yet, so we can't unpack. So my trailer is down the end of the street, and the car and everything, but anyway. So the dogs have seen the yard, we haven't seen the house yet. So really? that's, well, not really, nah. We've seen about this far.